Hello, it's Sue the Nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Tech. You guys over a little bit of a pre release style Minecraft 1.5 update type video, guys. This is going to be one video in a series of videos where I talk about all the new stuff in the Minecraft 1.5 update. Uh, things like the hopper, which will, this is what this video is about, uh, the redstone block dispenser or dropper, the daylight sensor, the comparator, the light and heavy pressure plate, and quartz, guys. These are the main new things that have been added in the Minecraft uh, 1.5 update, along with other things that I will be talking about. Uh, I conveniently put the playlist for these uh, videos on screen so you guys can click the annotation to see any of my other redstone type videos guys uh, as well as the minecraft show for that so if say you guys just want to be updated when i make redstone stuff or minecraft 1.5 stuff you guys can subscribe to that show in specific but anyway this video is going to be or this series is going to be kind of a shorter series so remember to keep back and keep checking for new videos also guys remember to check out my minecraft server uh it will be on screen right now or in the description down below you guys can check that out but uh with all that stuff said let's kind of get right into uh the hopper guys so pretty much the hopper is this thing right here uh it's a pretty cool piece of redstone -y type stuff pretty new cool item or pretty cool new item in uh, Minecraft and this is how you're gonna craft it you guys will just need uh, five iron and a chest arrange it like that in a crafting table and you will get a dropper or a hopper like this and uh, this doesn't actually have to do with anything there but what I can actually do with this is uh, if I show you guys right here so if I throw a hopper right there I grab a chest and put the chest right there what I can actually do is I can actually throw this stone in here and as you guys can see the stones getting pulled through it's going into this hopper and then again going into this chest down here now the cool thing about that is that it gives me the ability to move things from one chest to another or in the case over here from a mine cart inside of a chest into something else so this could be a dispenser it could be a brewer it could be anything like that so cool things like automatic brewing stations or uh, automatic chest sorting or anything like that is possible so keep remember to keep checking out these videos because i will be doing automatic brewing as well as automatic chest sorting uh and uh yeah so pretty much in this case if i as you guys can see there's a bunch of stone in here what i can actually do is i can turn this on and this is actually a five second timer so in about two seconds it's going to say hi in the chat and uh basically how i did this was just using command blocks and you know using comparators to count uh, how many things are in the dispenser which is pretty basic i guess uh this guy over here let me just turn this off um, this could actually be used to make, you know, a 10 minute timer and do it with, you know, very little redstone required. Like, this is actually a pretty cool thing that you can do with hoppers. But, um, what I'm actually going to show you guys over here is a new thing that you guys can actually use in your single player world. And this is actually pretty cool. So, say for instance, you know, you have, you're on a server and you have a faction and you want to send stuff between you and your friend. Uh, what you can actually do with this is, uh, or this could be used for, you know, say you have a mine or something like that that you want to not have to go all the way back up to the front every time you want to just lay some tracks and send a cart back and forth or something like that this is what this could be used for pretty much if i open this up i throw you know whatever i want in it say some of this i want a chest i want some sandstone push it on its way what it's going to do is it's going to stop over there on that uh, redstone or powered rail uh and then it's going to unload all of this stuff so it's about you know 75 percent of the way through or whatever and it's going to stay there until it unloads everything and then when it's done it's going to leave it's going to come back over here and as you guys can see we have an empty minecart and if we go over here to see this chest you guys can see that we have all the stuff that we sent over there uh so that's kind of one of the uses for this if you imagine this being the same at either side what you can actually do is you can actually send stuff uh automatically back and forth like you can have a chest sitting right up here or have like a hopper sitting right here and then you can have I just grab a chest over here and then you could have a chest up here so pretty much like you could just load stuff into this chest have the other there load stuff into there and what it'll automatically do is it'll automatically grab and bring the stuff over to the other sides uh which is kind of a cool concept i guess and it could automatically do that uh and be doing that 24 7. so that's just something for you guys to think about uh this redstone i will make a separate video talking about this redstone and uh this kind of contraption over here for automatic uh item sorting so remember to check out the playlist for that uh if the video is already up but yeah, so this is pretty much what the hopper does. The hopper is a pretty cool piece of redstone technology, I guess you can say. And, um, yeah, so another thing to note, guys, is uh, there is priority when you're talking about a hopper, and priority 
uh, you basically set that by whatever surface you click on. So say this block, I would, this, say this was a chest, I would click on that, and as you guys can see, that spout is pointing towards that block. If I were to click on the floor, the spout at the bottom points towards the ground, which means that gets priority. There's some cool stuff like that. As well, guys, uh, another thing that I didn't actually address, and that is if I put a you know hopper on there, I can actually throw stuff right in here. So kind of like black basketball, I guess you could say. So I could just kind of you know keep on throwing stuff in here and it'll go automatically in there. So that's something neat I guess you guys can do. You can use water and you know collect them all up with an automatic farm or something of that nature. But uh, anyway guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't. And uh, maybe even check out the subscriber server that I have set up, uh, play.squadcraft.net. Uh, you guys can actually use my code and get 5% off any of the uh, packages there. So that would be Dr. PSN. But anyway guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I'm the doctor and I'm out. Peace. And I am back, guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Again, I'm going to stress to remember to leave a rating down below if you guys did like it, as well as comment down below telling me, you know, if you like this video, if you want to see more stuff like this. Anyway, uh, you guys can also click anything on screen right now. You guys can click to see any of the videos I've linked. Some of them may not be up right now, but you guys can, you know, opt to subscribe to see them when they do come out. Uh, you guys can see videos on stuff like the Redstone Block Light, Heavy Pressure Plates, the, the uh, Comparator, uh, Nether Quartz, Dispensers, and Droppers, as well as the daylight sensor guys all those things are pretty cool and i definitely suggest you check them out anyway again hopefully you did enjoy i'm the doctor and i'm out peace